Blue Dolphin here. We're going to be jumping in to Linux, working with relative and absolute paths. Let's get into it. Jumping right into things here, we're going to go ahead and launch the working with relative and absolute paths. Practice lab. Let's see what we got. All right, let's uh, continue. All right, introduction. We're, welcome to working with relative and absolute paths. In this module, you, we will be provided with the instructions and devices needed to develop hands-on skills. Awesome, learning outcomes. Relative and absolute paths. <laughs> okay, this falls under the uh, creating partitions and file system exam objective. Brilliant. So let's move forwards here to the tasks and exercise one reads working with relative and absolute paths. A path to a file or folder is the unique location. A path contains forward slash and alphanumeric characters. In this exercise, you'll differentiate between the absolute and relative paths. Our learning outcomes will be to log into Linux and differentiate between absolute and relative paths. All right. So task one differentiate between absolute and relative paths. So an absolute path shows the location of the file from the root of the file system. It shows all the individual directories in the path. A relative path, on the other hand, only a short form relative to the currently browsed directory is used. In this task, we'll learn the difference. So we'll jump over to the Ubuntu machine where I think I have a whole bunch of stuff going on from the kernel module. All right, and step two is to jump into the Etsy init folder. Okay, here we are. St uh, <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, I see. So it's just, step two is just saying when you use an absolute path, you need to enter the complete path. In step three, they want us to go back. And then in step four, they want us to do an absolute path. But I think we just did an absolute path. Okay, so we're gonna practice absolute paths again. So we're gonna go to the, did they want the root directory? No, just type CD. Oh, I don't know you could just type CD to go down to your home folder. That's interesting. But if we do CD forward slash, that's root then. Oh, cool. Honestly, I had no idea. That's brilliant. All right, so let's go CD home administrator document. So I guess we're basically there. Wonderful. So now we want to go back to the home directory. Well, it says do a backslash, but just typing CD works, but I guess this is just another way to do it. Probably is another use I just don't know about. Yeah, I think they're confused. It's not backslash. Oh no, backslash does work. All right, cool. Okay, oh yeah, press enter twice. All right, step six. So we're gonna use the relative path to visit the documents directory. So we don't need to type the full path now, we just type just the documents directory. Step seven, they want us to go back. Okay, so in step eight, they want us to use the absolute path to navigate to the Etsy directory. So we're gonna need to go to the root folder, which I'll do cd forward slash, and I will just go Etsy. There we are. All right, step nine. Use the relative path to navigate back to the parent directory. Clear the screen. Use the, okay. So I think they're just gonna have us using absolute pass for days. All right, let's move forwards with this one. So which command will take you back to the uh, home directory? Well, I don't like this because this takes you to the root directory. Like if we go forward slash, we're in the root directory. So I'm not too sure like maybe it's dot dot, assuming we're in not the home directory, like we're one directory deep. So I'm not too sure. I need some more content. Like what's our current directory? Like if we're in home and we jump over to, we are not in home. Oh, we are an administrator, yeah, okay. So if we were to do CD squiggly, where does that bring us? Let's see, absolutely nowhere. So what about CD with no space and dot dot? Nothing. But CD forward slash root directory. So it can only be the dot dot. 
says I'm wrong. Oh, I guess I didn't test the squiggly properly. All right, so <laughs> let's test this out by going into home, administrator, documents, and we'll go CD, squiggly. Print working directory and there we are. Okay, cool. Not okay, fair enough. So that's great. So we know the squiggly is our home directory. CD by itself, also home directory. CD forward slash root directory. Cool, I honestly did not know these. I think I kind of knew about the some of them, but I wasn't confident. I didn't really know and I hadn't been using them, but that's gonna change. My skills will, with Linux are about to uh, excel when I'm actually on the machines. Now that I know this. Okay, which of the following are examples of absolute pass? Okay. I don't know about the first one. Oh. Well, it's CD Etsy is not, oh sorry, that's an absolute path because it has the, the uh, forward slash. Right, right, right. All right. I see, I see. Good to know, okay. Which of the following are examples of a relative path? Question three. So relative will be, I just feel like I'm gonna get this wrong. Yeah, I definitely did. Oh, I was supposed to choose CD dot dot. Okay, so it looks like for question three here, CD dot dot slash backups, because this is relative, we're making a change to get there. Same with CD dot, tac tac and then same with cd documents because we haven't specified obviously the full root all right question four if you need to visit the documents directory in the home directory of the user administrator what would be the correct command well that's a good question so let's look at them all so the first one cd so change directory home and then dot dot forward slash well that's not going to work that's just going to take us out of home and into the root folder so cd documents well, that would suggest that we are in the home directory of the user administrator. We don't know. The next one is change directory, go down one, and then documents. Okay, well, the last answer is change directory, home administrator documents. And this is going to be more than likely the right answer because we are able to, no matter where we are, get to that folder. So we'll go ahead and click this. Finally, I got one right. Okay. Question number five. What is the relative path to get into the documents directory? Well, I'm just gonna say change directory documents. Okay. Submit report, boom, boom. That was pretty easy. It's good. I'm okay with easy, cool. All right, in the next video, we're gonna be getting into work with the flow control constructs. I have no idea what that is, but I'm looking forward to it. See everyone in the next video. Blue Dolphin out.